Now, speaking of BDS, the Olympic Committee is not the only ones taking action against anti-Israel boycotters this week. Israeli NGO Shuat Adin now seizing Ben & Jerry's West Bank trademark with threats to sell a knockoff of their whole line of flavors and more, and all in efforts to undermine the ice cream company's BDS-based protest. But with us to explain how this is being done is attorney and Shuat Adin founder Nitzana Darshan Leitner. Nitzana, thanks so much for being here. How are you taking Ben & Jerry's trademark? Look, Ben & Jerry's announced that they are no longer uh, intent to work into the Samaria to sell products or to produce them. They basically gave up their right for the trademark in this area. I have to remember that uh, a trademark is something territorial. It's based on region. You can register your trademark all over the world. You have to uh, register it only in places that you have full intention, sincere intention to work at. When they announced that they no longer intend to sell ice cream in Judea and Samaria, they abandoned their trademark in this region. Now it's free for all. And we in Shuratadin came and seized that Ben and Jerry will no longer own the trademark Ben and Jerry in Judea and Samaria. So how, what kind of pushback are you suspecting will come back from this from Ben and Jerry's? Do you, are you expecting a Listen, huge loss? Look, I, um, I don't think that Unilever will agree to uh, give up its right for a trademark. Trademark is something very precious to uh, a company. It's not easy to gain it. It's not easy to protect it or to register it from the beginning. But yeah, you have to prove that you use it in a bona fide way, in a, in a good a faith way. Uh, they will have to come and defend it. And I want to hear their allegation. I want to hear what they want to say. I want to, I want to, and to explain. If they come and say we, you know, don't want to work in occupied territories anymore, as Ben and Jerry's said when they announced that they no longer be working in Judea and Samaria, how come they continue to work and to sell ice cream in other occupied territories in the world, like Northern Cyprus, like Western Sahara, like Tibet? Let them come, let them explain, let them uh, tell us that it's not a real anti-Semitic decision, that it's really based on ideology that they have. All right, so aside from uh, ideally proving a point, or, or it sounds like proving a point, aside from that, uh, are you partnering with Ben & Jerry's Israel franchisee Avi Zinger, uh, who is, whose contract has been canceled but is still uh, working for the next year? So I'll, so I'll tell you, uh, I'm waiting for Zinger to contact me because uh, right now we are approached by a lot of ISO companies that want to uh, uh, get uh, a right uh, under Ben & Jerry's name. Uh, and uh, perhaps that will be a, a step that we uh, collectively will take. Um, right now the uh, process is... Um, we register in the company. It's called Judea and Samaria Ben and Jerry's. We are dealing with the Justice Ministry in Israel, which is the Corporation Registration Authority. And once we settle that and we settle the trademark issue, we will uh, start doing uh, deals with ice cream companies. Rather than it's not changing its mission, we will not start selling companies, but the company, the new corporation, will, along with ice cream manufacturers. Wow. All right. So this is a very, very interesting story. I'm excited to see I'll how this, how this plays you, out. Yeah. Yeah, please. I, uh, look, the, the, the goal, and I know it's nice. I know, I know it's, it, it sounds uh, um, very cute uh, and a good idea, but the um, what stands behind it is actually the way to find BDS. All those boycotters that want to boycott Israel or want to boycott parts of Israel, this is the answer. We come and say you don't know, you no longer want to sell your products here or you don't want to work here. Give it to us. We will take over. We will take your rights, we will take your trademark, we will seize any on your name, and we will work. You don't have to be here anymore, and we'll ride on your reputation. This is the answer to BDS. Nitzana Darshan Leitner from the uh, Shurat Adin Law Center. 
thank you so much for joining us and uh, telling us all about this, this story. My pleasure. Thank you very much for having me.